named of course for the growing pattern of its stem. on twisted stalk. Now, twisted stalk, again, like a lot of the plants I've been covering so far, it's kind of loud it's windy today. It grows from uh, southern Canada all the way down to the uh, mountains of North Carolina. Uh, I've seen it growing in New Jersey. Uh, I've seen it growing as far west as... Um, I've seen it in Missouri. So, again, it's a pretty good uh, territory that it covers. Now there's very little edible on the twisted stalk, but what is edible is very nutritious um, and very easy to harvest because it doesn't need cooking. Very smooth leaves, all right? You can see they're very lightly veined and the underside color of the leaf is just a bit paler, more of a bluish green than the bright spring green of the upper side. The stem is very stalked, and let's see if I can move the debris here. You can see the lower part of the stem has this, uh, this sheath on it, and the upper part of the stem turns into a very rigid green, almost uh, bluish or grayish green stem. It comes straight up out of the ground. I can find the uh, surface of the ground here. A lot of leaves. And as you can see, if you can see, where is it? There it is. Right here, the bottom of the stem is white as it goes down into a bulb-like root structure. Follows up. Now, once it gets up here to the leaves, you'll notice that the stem begins to jog and get twisted, which is, of course, where the name comes from. Now, these can grow up to about three feet tall, all right, depending uh, where you are. Here in the northern forest, I've seen them, oh, on average, between a foot and a half to two feet. But the further south you go, I've seen them uh, grow quite large. Now the, uh, the interesting thing about these is the flowers that they get well beyond the twisted stalk. Now this one here, you can see, has flower buds. See that? They hang underneath each leaf. Okay. Now if you look, each stem for the flower comes off of the stem where the leaf comes out. All right? It does not come off of the stem where there is no leaf coming out. Now they hang below, they kind of droop in a, uh, normally a single, but sometimes as you can see here, double. See, there's a single, double, single, double, okay? And they hang in little globe flowers, uh, whitish and yellowish in color. These also get fruits. The fruits replace the flowers later on in the summer. And the fruits are a kind of a long reddish berry, uh, very soft. And they are edible. The fruits are edible. But what is edible on these beyond the fruit is the stalk of the young twisted stalks. The stalks can be, now this one here, once they start to flower bud, they're no longer uh, edible, the stalk. They're too tough. However, this young one here, which is a long way from budding, these stems are edible. You can pick these off and you can eat them raw. You can steam them if you like, but there's absolutely no reason to, and you'll just deplete the vitamin content. But you can just pick those stems and you can eat them raw. And yes, it will destroy the individual plant for the year, but you're not disturbing the root, so it will come up again next year. And again, only harvest these when they are plentiful, okay? As you can see here, in this patch, there are quite a few. 
lots and lots of twisted stalk. In the northern forest, when you do find twisted stalk, you normally find it growing in fairly large amounts. Now the only other uh, real plant that looks similar in the uh, region of the twisted stalk is the uh, Solomon seal. Um, and the main way that you can tell there aren't any Solomon seal up right now, um, it's too early in the season, but the main way that you can tell the difference of the Solomon seal is the, uh, the flower structure, the leaf structure. Um, look for the stalk itself. Solomon seal has long, straight, drooping stalks, whereas the twisted stalk is definitely jagged, like a Z, continuing up. Um, <clears throat> and where the Solomon seal has leaves coming off on either side and drooping, the twisted stalk doesn't. They have them jutting off from the angles. Um, the root, of course, of the, uh, the twisted stalk is uh, more of a bulb shape, whereas the Solomon seal is long and it has round, circular um, uh, seals. That's why they call it seals. Um, more like uh, armor plates on the outside of the root stalk itself. <clears throat> I believe those are the only other plants false Solomon seal and Solomon seal that look anything like the twisted stalk that grow in this area. Um, and you really can't poison yourself by mistaking the twisted stalk for something that looks similar. Unlike toothwort, for those of you who watched the toothwort video, all right, don't mistake toothwort for poison ivy. Because in certain stages, to some people who aren't um, that familiar with poison ivy, it can look similar, all right? And you do not want to mistake toothwort and dig up a poison ivy root and try to eat it, right? Uh, poison ivy roots are tendrils, okay? Unlike the toothwort, which like I showed you on that other video, it's a white root stock. Okay, this is White Wolf, the Ways of the Wild Institute, with my continuing wild edible series here in the mountains of Vermont. And if you are interested in any of my other classes, workshops, learning CDs, um, on anything that I teach, please visit the website, waysofthewildinstitute.com. Willem Allison, be well and happy.